Welcome to the overview module of the California Department of Public Health, also known as CDPH. CDPH works to protect the public's health in the Golden State and help shape positive health outcomes for individuals, families, and communities. The department's program and services implemented in collaboration with local health departments, state, federal, and private partners touch the lives of everyone who calls California home and the millions who visit here each year. Today we'd like to talk with you about what public health is and provide a brief overview of the California Health and Human Service Agency. We'll give you an overview of the California Department of Public Health and the essential public health services. Then we'll talk about CDPH's centers, offices, and programs. California Department of Public Health is part of a great network called the Public Health System. The organizations that make up this system all work towards the delivery of essential public health services. So what are those essential services? Some examples of public health system include public health agencies, this includes our department, human service and charity organizations like food banks, education and youth development organizations such as public schools and daycare centers, recreation and art related organizations which are our community centers and environmental agencies like the Department of Water Resources as well as local organizations like recycling centers. We all work together to reach the goal of making California healthier. The California Health and Human Service Agency oversee 12 departments and four offices that provide a wide range of health care services, social services, mental health services, alcohol and drug related services, income assistance and public health services to Californians from all walks of life. CDPH is one of these agencies. We work alongside with our sister department to improve public health and provide services to communities throughout California. There are approximately 33,000 employees who work under California Health and Human Service Agency. Let's talk about California Department of Public Health specifically. In 2007, the Department of Health Services became two departments, the Department of Health Care Services and the California Department of Public Health. Therefore, CDPH became a department of its own on July 1, 2007. CDPH employs over 3,900 people with most employees working in the Sacramento and Richmond area. Our mission is to advance the health and well-being of California diverse people and communities. And our vision is healthy communities with thriving families and individuals. So what is the role of public health? To understand the role of public health, let's take a look at the 10 essential public health services. Public health is divided into 10 essential services. These fall into three categories, assessment, policy development, and assurance. And at its core is system management, which includes all the research and sharing of best practices. Let's highlight one of our programs to better define assessment, policy development, and assurance using our tobacco control program. The mission of the California Tobacco Control Program is to improve the health of all Californians by reducing illness and premature death attributed to the use of tobacco products. The California Tobacco Control Program works diligently to keep tobacco out of the hands of the youth, help tobacco users quit, and ensure that all Californians can live, work, play, and learn in tobacco-free environments. So how is the Tobacco Control Program going to accomplish their mission? We'll start with the services that fall under assessment. Public health must monitor the health of the community and identify health problems and risk. Adults and youth tobacco knowledge, attitudes, 
and behaviors are tracked through phone, school, and online survey. The California Tobacco Control Program is a data-driven, evidence-based program. Public Health also diagnoses and investigates those health problems and health hazards in the community and comes up with response plans to major health threats. For example, the California Tobacco Control Program created a retail surveillance study known as Healthy Stores for a Healthy Community designed to assess retail availability, promotion, and placement of tobacco products, as well as the marketing material for tobacco products. Recently, the survey expanded to include the availability and promotion of flavored tobacco products and electronic nicotine delivery systems. CTCP partners with other branches to also assess nutrition, STD prevention, and alcohol in stores. Based on assessment, public health then develops policies to address the threats and improve health conditions. Public health must inform, educate, and empower people. For example, the education and training program such as the Flavor Hooks Kids campaign, which tackles the problem of youth becoming hooked on nicotine. Public health also mobilizes community partnerships. Our tobacco control branch engages in statewide trainings and technical assistance providers, regional coordinating centers, local health departments, community-based organizations, and voluntary health organizations to address tobacco control issues such as secondhand smoke exposure, youth access to tobacco products, health equity, and more. And public health develops policies and regulations that support individual communities and populations health improvement. Under assurance, public health helps to enforce laws and regulations that protect health and ensure safety. It links people to needed health services, such as a free cessation support tobacco quit service, which is offered in six languages, and assures a competent workforce. Public health must evaluate the quality of its public health services and seek continuous improvement. For example, the California Department of Public Health Food and Drug Branch conducts ongoing compliance checks to ensure retailers are not selling tobacco to anyone under 21. California retailers face fines and the loss of their tobacco retail license for repeated violations. The Tobacco Control Program has provided insight to just one of the many ways that CDPH impacts the citizens of California. Let's take a quick look at the Department of Public Health organization. Our organization structure is similar to CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Our 300 plus programs are divided into six centers. The Center for Healthy Communities works to prevent and control chronic diseases. The Center of Environmental Health is responsible for oversight of food, drug, cannabis, and radiation environment safety. The Center for Family Health includes the Women's, Children, and Infant Program known as WIC. The Center for Health Care Quality monitors health care facility and professionals to assess safety and quality patient care. The Center for Infectious Disease works to prevent infection, disease, and assist those living with infectious disease. The Center for Health Statistics and Informatics is primarily responsible for registration of birth, death, and marriage certificates. We have offices that bring the work together, such as the Office of Health Equity. CDPH employs approximately 3,900 professionals, including researchers, scientists, doctors, and nurses. 
CDPH is located throughout California with the majority of employees working in Sacramento and Richmond. The Sacramento offices house the executive team, operation, and many of the department's programs. Richmond is home to our laboratories, including the Drinking Water and Radiation Laboratory, Food and Drug Laboratory, and Genetic Disease Laboratory, and our Center for Healthcare Quality located throughout the state of California. On behalf of the Human Resources Branch, we would like to thank you for taking the time to learn about the California Department of Public Health.